this is our night one stopover, it's Tawin Headland. So I'm going to turn the camera around now and just show you exactly where we are. Hello from Tawin Headland. This is our night one stop. And what a great place we found, to be honest. It's absolutely brilliant. Very quiet, very peaceful. A few dog walkers around. Um, there's one of the motorhome here as well. Um, there's a town close by, so if you need shops or anything, um, there's plenty of amenities, but very peaceful and lovely to walk the dogs. I'll show you around. So we're on a no through road. Um, it's marked on search for sites, this one. And you can see that we have the most spectacular view. So yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. So it is a no-through road. It's wide enough to park motorhomes on. You can see there's another motorhome there as well. Lots of dog walkers come down here. Well, when I say lots, there's a few so far, nothing major. But there's probably room sensibly. Well, you could get quite a few motorhomes down here, to be fair. There's a little town further on. I noticed some shops and that, so yeah. Great, um, one thing to note about this place, is over that fence in front of me is a railway line. Um, it's really not a problem because after 10 o'clock at night we didn't hear anything. Before that they were pretty irregular, only small local trains, I don't even know what it is exactly. Um, but yeah, no problem at all, no, pro no trains after 10 o'clock apparently. There's some nice walks from here, so you can go, either go over the footbridge um, I haven't really been very far that way, so I don't know where it takes you, but it leads off down various pathways either way by the side of the river, so that's quite nice. Um, there were sheep in this field earlier on, so just something to bear in mind if you've got dogs, just make sure they're on a lead if they're if you're in a field by the river. Um, I believe there's quite a lot of wildlife here because there's a notice board over here which tells you all about local birds and birds that may come in during the year, so, and, and whales, um, whales, mammals, so it looks as though there's dolphins that turn up and perhaps otters as well. So yeah, plenty of information for you. Right, the easiest access to get down to the beach, you can see the motorhome over there, um, is this little pathway that comes down. Um, there's the walkover bridge. This comes down under the railway bridge. So there's the railway line to the left there. And all you do is you walk down under the railway bridge and you've got a choice then, because you can either walk alongside the river, but if you've got a dog, it is quite stony. And 
Oh, look, the tide is in now. I did come here earlier, so... But you can still get through, that's fine. But, yeah, it's, it's quite stony walking along the river right the way to the end to the beach. So the easiest way is to pop left, which I'll show you now. And there's just a nice walk. And, you, you know, if you don't even want to go all the way to the beach, um, there's a nice area, which is a good rent for dogs. But this is so serene. So lovely and calm this morning. We did stop. I know we said yesterday, um, after we were in Abu Dhabi, we said we were going to Tawin Beach. <clears throat> and we did pop to Tawin Beach, but the park in there was abysmal. We couldn't get our motorhome in. And the only other option really was to park on the side of the road, but there weren't even designated parking spaces on the side of the road. It would have been just leaving the motorhome kind of perched out in the road. And uh, it really wasn't an option to leave it. So we just decided, We'd have a quick look. I didn't even get out to film there, to be honest, but it was nice. A massive beach, which obviously leads to where we are now as well. But um, really, really stunning coastline, for sure. And there were lots of little shops and ice creamy places, but they were all shut at the moment. So this is a dog walking area. A nice dog running area, which is right by the side of this uh, stopover. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I'm going to walk a little further on and I will show you what's over the brow of that hill. Right, so this is what's over the brow of the hill. We've got a little lakey type pond there, which I would imagine fills up with water from the sea when there's a high tide. It looks as though there's some marks here with washed up seaweedy bits and pieces um, from when the tide's been in or the weather's been bad. Oh, that's lovely, great area to run around with the dogs. Just found myself a nice little rock to perch on for a minute. So uh, it's taken me, I would say, around about five to ten minutes to walk down here. It's absolutely spectacular, beautiful views. It's a lovely day, the sun's out. Um, it's very rocky at the top, but I have seen pictures online of when the tide's out, and it's an absolutely spectacular sandy beach. So fantastic for dogs to run around and walk along. And I think this beach literally goes all the way along to Tawin, um, where we called in yesterday, but we couldn't stop, and round to Abu Dhabi. So if you wanted a long walk, it's uh, probably perfect for that. Um, but yeah, I'll show you around. Very serene, not a soul here this morning. I think the dog walkers have all disappeared. The sun's coming up. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, like I said, you can see the stones and that, so a bit difficult to walk along at the moment, but when the tide's out, absolutely gorgeous. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to our channel, and welcome back to our new tour, our new tour in our motherland of Wales. And uh, we are doing a tour of uh, Gwyneth County and up to the Isle of Anglesey. So it's a little bit different for us. Um, stopping in Wales, we were going to go back to Scotland, uh, but decided that uh, with time constraints from Aero Park with regards to work, etc., we would stick to uh, doing Wales. But what a wonderful place it is. So uh, we were a little bit late leaving this morning uh, because uh, I had to take Eva, one of the dogs, to the vets um, just to have some stitches removed. Um, that was just uh, following her being spayed um, just uh, after Christmas. I will be collating some of that information and we will be doing some dog stuff uh, very soon. Um, so today we left Cardiff, travelled straight up the A470 um, and we've come all the way to the A470, we've come past um, Brecon and we've carried on through Penavan and we've carried all the way up to where we are now. Uh, we went through uh, McCunthleth and we did make one stopover at a place called Abu Dhabi. Um, and so you probably saw a bit of footage of that earlier on, uh, which uh, Amanda did. That was just for a little stop, really, and to get the girls emptied. 
and refilled, uh, which they were. So we then uh, stopped over now at a place called, I keep looking down at my notes, Towin. It's Towin Headland. And we will put a uh, what three words up for this place, but we found it on search for sites. Uh, we try and go off grid and free camp as much as we can. Um, it is a struggle uh, in Wales for sure um, to find places to stay, but we're getting there. Um, but um, everything is okay. Uh, there is no, no issues really. Um, but it's been a good day. It seems as though it's been quite a long day. The A470, everybody uh, you know who lives in Wales will know the A470. Um, it, it just seems to go on and on. Um, and we have done motorway journeys up to Scotland, which seem to be less time. Um, so I have got some figures for you today. Um, so from where we live in Cardiff to where we are right now, including the stop, is uh, it's been 140 miles exact. Um, my average fuel consumption on this trip so far has been 23.7 miles per gallon. My average speed is 33 mile an hour. That speaks volumes really about what the A470 uh, is like. And it's our travel time has been four hours and eight minutes. Um, I'll let you guys do the math. What I will say is the further uh, up the A470 we have come, the cost of diesel has gone up massive. I filled up at uh, Corver House Cross in Cardiff just before we left in Tesco's and it was uh, 144.9 per litre. Uh, I know it's a superstore, but around where we are at the moment, you're looking around about 160 a litre. So it's a massive jump. Um, but other than that, everything's all good. We're all fine. We're going to have a beer tonight, um, and we're just going to chill out and do what we do. The girls have been out. They've had a little play around. They're fine. We'll take them back out again in the morning and then we will move on. Um, as always, if you like the sort of content that we are producing, great. Thank you very much indeed. Subscribe to the channel. Maybe hit the bell notification icon if you wish. If you don't like this sort of content, rather than just switching off, send us a comment and let me know what we're doing wrong or what you would prefer to see. And that way we can try and accommodate you. We really need to get you guys to uh, subscribe to subscribe to the channel. We need those subscriptions. Uh, anyway, from me to you, as always, thank you very much indeed for watching. And I will see you all again next time.